In today's video, I want to show off a really simple plugin for WordPress. It's called Better Core Video Embeds. You can find it for free in WordPress.org. It's made by the chaps at High Rise Digital. Uh, they put out a great uh, podcast as well for WordPress. I'll be sure to link that up in the show notes below. It is very simple. It is helping you load your YouTube or Vimeo and one more other service, daily motion videos in a page or post, or I guess anywhere if you're building a template for WordPress. Uh, it'll load those uh, without the overhead of those particular services. In other words, all of those JavaScript files and other assets that normally load if you use the default YouTube uh, block inside of WordPress. Um, it's loading a bunch of scripts and a bunch of other stuff that you know might slow down a page or a post uh, when the user is pulling up that page. Uh, and it allows you to either just use the YouTube thumbnail from the original video, or you can upload your own image uh, for the uh, placeholder of the video. And then when the user clicks play, it then loads everything it needs to load in order to play the video. So two things here, super simple. You literally install it and activate it and it just does its thing. I'm gonna show you what it adjusts in the editor in a second. Um, but the value here, aside from the speed and you know helping your site load a little bit faster, I love a plugin that is super simple, but I'm gonna, as an end user, also gonna beg, I want more features from this plugin because it is so you know, well done and so precise. Um, and uploading that YouTube uh, thumbnail replacement is fantastic. I know people who are using really heavy uh, plugins or other workarounds just to replace uh, the thumbnail when a video loads on, let's say, a home page or a product page. Like, you don't want all that YouTube stuff to load around it, the UI until the user hits play. Uh, and with this, you can simply upload your own image. That's worth using this plugin just for that, if that's something that you're that you're looking for. Okay, better core video embeds, like I mentioned, you can find it for free uh, in the WordPress repo. I just installed it, activate it. There's no other settings uh, for me to adjust. And when we edit a page, uh, this is a particular video <clears throat> that I just did on the WP Minute podcast. Uh, if we look to the right-hand side, we can now replace this image or remove the image. And it gives me this other option. I think this is an option that's from this particular plugin. We'll check it out in a second, but resize for smaller devices um, if we want to uh, do that. And I can just pick any image I want, hit save, and we'll view the page. And this is what it looks like. I've uploaded that thumbnail um, for this particular video. So it's, it's actually the same thumbnail, but I could replace this with a different thumbnail if I wanted. And there's the play icon in the middle. But first, before we do that, let's inspect this element. I'm not a developer. Uh, I don't often come into uh, developer tools, let alone in Safari of all browsers. But if we watch here in the bottom right hand corner, these are all the scripts uh, or locations of scripts that are loading. As soon as I hit play, we'll notice a lot more scripts start to load on the page. So let's go ahead and hit play. You can see the whole list uh, pull up. And actually, it didn't play the video. It loaded the video to play. I don't know if that's a bit of a bug, um, but it saves all of that overhead from loading on the page. If we go back and deactivate this, refresh the page, you're going to see all of those same scripts that loaded after we hit play are loaded in by default. And I guess on some sites, uh, if you have multiple videos, if you have just a lot of media happening on the page, you're trying to save that payload as much as possible um, you know, on your website. You want fast, uh, snappy, you want people to be able to get to these pages really quick, especially if they're on a mo mobile device or a weak internet connection. And you can see when I disable it, it just loads all of those scripts over again. Let's go back and just enable this one more time. I'm gonna hit activate, refresh the page. You can see a lot tighter on that uh, inspector window. And when I hit play, that time it played. So it might've been a little bit of a, of a bug there, but fantastically easy and simple. And again, the only option that it's adding is the ability to upload this video thumbnail. I would love more customization, simple yet effective customization. Um, maybe a sort of a new player customization it probably brings more JavaScript into play, but maybe that's their own JavaScript that's really efficient. Um, I would like to be able to maybe 
enable this and uh, disable this on a per embed uh, process. That way, if I'm trying to debug something or something's not working right, I can quickly turn these things on and off instead of having to shut off the entire uh, plugin every time to debug stuff. And uh, you know, maybe on mobile devices, some options to switch what the uh, thumbnail is loading. I know that's uh, sort of uh, a real nice to have, but uh, all these other players out there, um, you know, all these other player plugins out there have a lot of weight to them, but they also have a lot more customization to them. So I know I can't have it all, but this is a fantastically simple plugin, and I wanted to share it with you today. Better Core Video Embeds by High Rise Digital. Check it out. Check out their podcast. If you're into WordPress and you're a developer or designer, uh, it's well worth a listen or a watch. Go ahead and leave a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you want more. Leave me a comment. Have you used this yet? What, what are you using to customize your YouTube or other video embeds on WordPress? Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.